as you might be able to tell i'm very tired i just had all of my new york fashion week events over and done with so now that i'm past that i can fully focus on my pop-ups but that also does mean i'm still recovering from how much extrovert energy i had to put out there during new york fashion week which I don't have a lot of um so i'm tired but i feel like doing this mindless task of just like cutting out fabric is going to help it's a productive task but not that rigorous so i feel like it's perfect now enjoy like a two hour time lapse of me cutting out fabric okay hi friends welcome back i figured i'd give you some background on this video since we kind of just got right into it if you're new my name is monica i make content related to owning a small business working nine to five productivity sewing diying crafting and all those fun things in this video i'm going to take you through my process of preparing for a pop-up shop for my small business and also take you to the actual pop-up the day of and how things turn out so definitely stick around to the end of the video to see that for my small business i hand make a whole bunch of sustainable goods apparel tote bags, scrunchies, earrings, reusable cups, candles, stickers, decals, pretty much anything that creatively comes to mind I'll go ahead and make and sell in my shop. I've been doing pop-ups all summer long and into the fall back to back so I've been replenishing all my inventory basically every single week with this being the biggest pop-up that I've ever done in that they expect to have pretty much over 10,000 people showing up. I wanted to go all out and make as much inventory as I possibly could with the time that I had. So here's my best attempt at filling an entire vendor booth with handmade products for a 10,000 person event. I hope you enjoy. All right guys, we are two days away from the first big pop-up of the weekend. I have many things done and many things that still need to be done, but I feel like I kind of prioritize the really important things really well. So let me show you what's going on. We have some of these candles that are part of this new like holiday winter collection. Um, I know it's a little bit early for winter stuff, but I really wanted to get all of my holiday stuff out as early as possible. So that's all done and i have a bunch as for other candles i have a lot of these latte type scents i feel like my chai ones which are not here right now my chai pumpkin spice and matcha ones did really well last year so i made a bunch of those this whole tin is filled with earrings that are all done so i just need to put the backings on some of them and put them on little like earring cards as for apparel this is what i'm lacking on most i do have a lot of stuff in a suitcase right now um, that i brought to a previous pop-up so this is not everything but i probably have about like half a rack full i do have a few tote bags done where are the done ones i have a few hoboken ones done i need to make a few jersey city ones and i also have a lot of these like pretty tote bags also in a suitcase somewhere over there scrunchies have a ton of scrunchies done um, these are ones that i still have to put tags on but i have a lot in a bin somewhere i should have really prepped for this <laughs> trust me i have a lot done i've been making candles every single day because I feel like you can never have enough candles. And so I feel good about all of this. I feel like if I had to do a pop-up in one hour and only bring what I already have done, I would still feel good about it. That's very relieving. Going <laughs> into this weekend and having two more days to still prep is like really awesome for me at least. But I'm feeling good. I mean, there's always more I can do. Like I can still make a ton more scrunchies and a ton more candles and like a ton more of everything basically. But I'm trying to know my limits and also just try to focus on quality over quantity 
so that's why I'm trying to like perfect all of these basic things first before putting on the little tags at the end like the finishing touches because I really want the actual product to be like as good as possible I feel good I'm feeling excited I feel well rested still like I'm a little bit tired you can kind of tell but overall like i feel like this is going pretty well a flashback to me in my last pop-up shop series where i said the exact same thing and then i didn't film for the next 48 hours because i all of a sudden got really stressed and burnt out and anxious so hopefully that doesn't happen and i didn't jinx myself so much today look at all this I actually did a little photo shoot so I have one of each product out right now all of my little pillar candles these are the three cups I'll have available this one actually comes in a few different colors all of my scrunchies they look so pretty I feel like I definitely got the ratio down with how long the scrunchies should be to make them to make them just scrunch the exact right way and I love my little tags. On the other side, it says Monica's, which is so cute. Colorful tote bags, which I love. I already took pictures of all of my latte related candles, so I don't have them out right now. Oh, I also took pictures of all my earrings. I forgot to mention earlier that I also want to make decals. I ordered stickers from Sticker Blitz, so I wouldn't have to manually make those, but I didn't order any decals because I like to customize those as much as possible. So I also need to cut a bunch of decals. I'm going to tidy up my space a little bit because everything's a little bit everywhere and it's hard to tell what's done and what is still in progress. Wow. How cute. I'm obsessed. Look at this. Out of office. Love it. This was my graduation gap um, little slogan that I put. Just be fearless in the pursuit of what sets your soul on fire. I love that. I got two little There Is No Planet B stickers. I'm obsessed with these. I have these, which I think is kind of fun. This was like a last minute edition that I didn't think I'd add, but I did. It says do it for you. Love that. This one I designed. I mean, I designed all of them, but... This one actually drew out, which is nice. Oh, fun. This one's my favorite. Yep. Cool. All right, friends, looking a little rough, but that's okay. I am so happy with the amount of stuff I got done in the past three weeks. But today is the day before the big pop-up, and this is normally where I start stressing out, which I was this morning. I decided to try something new this time, and a whole construction fleet is coming by my apartment right now and i actually took product pictures of almost everything that i'm going to have at the pop-ups this weekend i put them on my website just so that when i check people out tomorrow i can just go ahead and click each of the products that are already on my site ring them up as that product instead of typing in custom orders i think i'll explain this concept a little bit more later on but it's just going to make my life a lot easier tomorrow just to have all of the products already registered on my business, like online shop. I also, because I already have that done, decided to just release all of these products on my website for my online shoppers. I think this will help me determine what to bring tomorrow because I'll just gauge the interest that people have in different sorts of products. That is assuming people actually buy things on launch day, but you know, we're hoping for the best. <laughs> Today, I am officially cutting it off at making new products in terms of like candles. I'm no longer making any more candles, even though I wish I had more. I'm no longer cutting out any more tote bags. Um, I do have a few that are like somewhat unfinished, so I might like finish those up, but that won't take too long. I'm not cutting out any more scrunchies. I'm not making any more apparel, unfortunately. Today is focusing on the final touches and packing things up because we have an early morning tomorrow. So I'm gonna get started with that and we will see where today takes us. Hopefully it won't be a long night.
All right, as I finish up tagging everything, I'm actually going to start packing things up. So I'm going to take out my bins. They're actually really deep inside my closet, so it should be fun trying to find them. And I'm going to start packing up these candles because of all of my inventory, my candles are officially done. No more is being made. So I am going to pack these up just to feel like I have some things like over and done with fully. But I'm going to start packing these away. So I will show you how I do that. So I have these bins that are really fun. They hold a lot of stuff and they're very easy to carry. So I have a lot of my like... Oh, a lot of my extra things here. That's a lot of like giveaway spin the wheel. These are shopping bags. Um... So I put a lot of this in here, but I also stuffed some inventory in here just to pad the rest of it and to make the most of the space. It's 12.30. I very much did not estimate how much time it would take me to do final touches. As always, so. There's the room. Yep. It's bad. Yep, it's bad, so.
right, guys, we got it set up. It was a little chaotic, but I will take you through. Garment rack all the way on this end, which it normally is. I put all my tote bags in the front because I want to feature those. I have my new mirror, which is looking cute. I made this decal last night, and I love it. Okay, then we come in, and I have a table at the back, which I've never had before. Um, all of my new stuff have my glass and my glass cups, stickers on the stand that I got from Amazon, and some decals I'm ch trying to figure out how to display. Then I have my little candles and the little self-love boxes with instructions on how to make it and a sample. I have this little earring rack with a mirror on top and my new scrunchy pegboard, which I really like. And I feel like my banner looks really good today for some reason. New tablecloth, which I'm loving too. And then to the right of that, I have another table with candles. So I have all my pillar candles over here with samples. I decided to hide most of the other ones that I have, like all the stock of this, just so that they don't melt in the sun. I have some spare scrunchies, the pretty candles, and then all of the latte candles and just like some stuff to show off in the front. So I think overall, it's very cute and they actually gave us a tent this time and a table which is crazy so I didn't need to use my table that I have or my tent. This is my spin the wheel game that I need to fill out right now. Copyright music, so I can't talk that much. I have a few of these. There's a lot of these. Scrunchies are doing well. And I got that in a lot of candles. And tote bags are doing well too. Everything's almost sold out. 